Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts and I am finalizing my little goodies that I'm making um, for my son's high school fundraiser and I wanted to share, I think I have like one or two more things to do but I wanted to share um, I, this coffee cup uh, box mug holder thing that I put together now I done these last year for my son's teachers and um, I actually happened to go into Michael's this morning and they were just putting out their Christmas coffee cups so I decided to just go ahead and make some for the boutique as well now I took pictures <laughs> because I have already wrapped the cups up so for this box here is that coffee mug in there and it says welcome Merry Christmas and then for this box here this one here is that little snowman coffee mug and then for this box here it is the um, blue and white coffee mug and then this box here is the coffee mug with the little angel on it now in this video I'm actually going to show you um, how to put the box together and what's so great about this is you can use any any paper that is a, of a thick consistency. You don't want to use, um, you know, scrapbooking paper. You want to use cardstock. And it doesn't have to be Christmas. You know, if you have a birthday or um, anything like that that's coming up and you want to um, use the box, you don't have to put a coffee mug in it either. You can put candy in it, um, little soaps or whatever you want. So um, this is Sweet Tooth. Cricut cartridge, sweet tooth boxes, and um, the box that I made is this one here. And um, you want to cut it both the lid and the box at 11 inches if you want to put a coffee mug in it. That is the biggest it will cut. I tried to get it up to 11 and a quarter, but my Cricut said it was too big, so but it worked out fine. Um, so there's three different types of lids, and for my coffee mugs, I just chose like randomly up you know here and there um, the square lid and the lid with a scallop um, this one's adorable this would be cute if you want to put a cupcake in the box as well um, so that's that set that aside uh, you definitely want to use your score tape and uh, that will hold a lot better for each uh, uh, fold like normal uh, Cricut has put the little tick line this is really simple to put together um, and a lot of fun. Now you can do the box in pattern paper and the lid in the pattern paper as well or what I did was I did the um, box in a solid paper and the lid in the pattern paper. And this one that I'm putting, <clears throat> excuse me, that I'm putting together is just the, the square lid. Dog, what are you doing? Get in my trash can. And um, you just, you know, scorch lines. And, sorry about that. I had to move my trash can out of the way so my dog could get on my chair here in my scrap room. And then, um, what was I saying? Ooh, I lost my train of thought. I don't know. Anyway, so just, you know, put your score tape on. Your corners like this. And I just want to make sure that it's pushed down real well. So that it doesn't come up when I try to um, put the box together. So I have to tell you guys that I, over the last couple of days, I keep thinking, oh my gosh, I just feel like I want to make so much more. I just want to keep creating and, you know, and then I set up my banquet table, which is actually about a foot shorter than what the tables are at this fundraiser. Uh, the table is full. I don't have any more room. <laughs> so 
what I could do is just bring everything and then as things sell, I just add to the table as there's space opening up. But we'll see. I still have all my treat boxes that I made and I don't really have room for them, so I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's so funny all this time I'm thinking I just haven't made enough and I want to make more and <laughs> and then I just put the table up. I go, whoa. My son goes, Mom, you don't have enough room. Oh my gosh, you're right, I don't. Okay, so again, you're just going to fold on all of your lines. And you want to make sure that you're giving it a real good, especially with the box, because that's where your cup is going to go. I'm sitting here talking, I'm not explaining anything, am I? Put your score tape on all your flaps. Now I'll tell you if you're going to put a coffee cup in the box you really do want to do your uh, box in like a real good thick basil cardstock or even a cardstock that comes out of a paper pack because um, those are usually you know pretty thick cardstock but if it's soaps or um, you know something um, that's lighter than a coffee cup. Um, you, you might could be able to use like foundations, paper that you get at Joann's. That that might be okay. I just prefer to have it so that it's um, you know nice and sturdy. Okay, we'll put the box together. Now, when I display this on my table, I'm going to finish taking, uh, I have two more cups I'm doing. I'm going to finish taking pictures of those two more cups, and then um, I will take that copy with me so that if the people are interested in knowing what the coffee cup looks like inside, I can actually show them the picture. All right, so you're just going to put your box together like this, and I'm going to put this side together, and then I'm going to bring it in bring my um, bone folder in and I'm just going to give it a real good push because you don't want your box falling out or apart. I mean, you don't want your coffee mug falling out is what I was thinking but my mouth said something totally different. Oh boy. Okay, so there it is. Then you take your coffee mug and you place it in there and you make sure that the handle is right there in the corner and then what I did there's going to be a crunching noise just a minute here is I bought some of this celebrated uh, paper crinkle and you know the whole time I was buying this I thought oh my gosh I could just shred my own paper how lazy am I but I didn't so I just think it's nice to have this in here um, to protect the cup as well as give it some decoration. What's the box studier? Sturdier too. Studier? Hmm, I just made up a word. And then I have some red as well, so I'll just throw some red in there. There, that looks Christmassy, right? And then I take the lid. And the lid will help hold the box together as well. There we go. Now I'm going to put a ribbon around it. And the way I like to do it, push this away for a minute. So I like to use my bow maker. And I'm kind of just um, guessing how long I'm going to need it. This is Celebrate Ribbon. I bought this last year, but I actually did see it there this year. So if you guys are looking for this, it's real pretty. And I'm going to make my bow. And I have this on the number three. Now, as I'm tying this, I'm realizing it's not going to be long enough to go all the way around the box. I'm going to give it a little bit more tail. If you are one of those, like myself, that really have a hard time tying bows, you might want to get one of these. I know there's another one out there that's like a plastic 
um, that has little notches and stuff and I didn't realize that was existed and then I just bought this so I got this online okay so there's my bow and I'll try to cut it even here and this is actually going to wrap around the box to keep the lid on and it's got wire in it which is nice because then I can play with a little bit open that up come on I know you're in there there we go and I'm going to lay it around and I see that it is too short so we're going to make another one, and I can certainly put this on my own package um, or my own presents that I'm doing. So let's do another one. So funny because I've done four of them so far, and I didn't have that problem. But because I'm making a video, that's got to happen. Yeah, that's going to be better. Bring that around. Yeah, that'll be much better. And try that again. Now there's two different ways that you can do attach your bow. And I will show you the way I did it, but you can do it a different way if you'd like. Now, I want to make it tight. I want to, you know, make it real snug. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right toward at the edge of the box. And I'm going to do the same with this one. And see how I'm really trying to, to snug it in there? And then I'm going to slide the bow off. And I can adjust it to make it look pretty again when I get it back on the box. But, and I'm going to use my Tim Holtz mini stapler. Staple it here and here. And then I'm also going to come down where the edge is right there. Line that up. Staple it there and there. And I can slide this back on. Now if you have ribbon that will stay together with score tape, you can do that as well. I just felt like the stapler um, held together better for most of the ribbon that I was using. And you can't see it, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide that back on my box. And you can make these boxes itty bitty. Um, I made some last year that were real small and I put uh, votive candles in them. I have some left too, I'm gonna bring those. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put them on my table, but all right. So that is the box. Now, what I did was I took the paper that I used, and this was actually an eight and a half by eleven that I did the, the lid with. Um, but the box was done with in twelve by twelve, and I'm just going to use my Ek Success Tag Punch, make a tag, and you can use any tag, obviously, if you have. Cricket cartridges or um, any other tag you can do. Punched my hole. And then I have a to and from stamp that I have had forever. Uh, I, they're probably recollections. I don't know. I have a couple of them. And I'm just going to stamp like that. And then I have this um, sparkly red ribbon. This is probably like the last piece that I have. Um, that I had bought from Joann's last year in their bargain bin. And um, you know, it depends on how elaborate you want to do your tags. If you want to make a really, really pretty tag, you know, go for it. With some distressing or, you know, something like that. But for this one, it's just the to and from tag, so I'm, I'm not going to doctor this one up. And bring that around to the front just to hold it stable. 
and then this will tie through. And I'm doing this in a knot so it stays on the package. Real good. Let's trim up the edges so it looks pretty. And then however, you know, you you want, whoops, <laughs> there we go. You can, you know, put it on like that or you can put it on like that. You know, however you would want to do that. And that's it. Isn't that nice? Fix your bow, pretty it up. And that is it. Now I'm going to just do a quick review again. We have this box. And um, this is a, a EK Success uh, Snowflake. And I did a red ribbon with uh, Tim Holtz tinsel. And then this one is just the wire ribbon that I got from Michaels. And then the same tag with the raffia for the string. And then um, this one here is the Celebrate ribbon as well. And the paper is adorable. I love those reindeers. And then I got this at Michael's last year. Isn't that cute? They're little bulbs. You can do all kinds of things with those. And then I put that one like that. So, Alrighty, those are my coffee cup holders. Thanks all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.